Hi everyone, it's author Sandra Wilson and this is another episode of the Creative Writers Toolbox. And so the point of these little video clips are just to give you an idea of what kinds of things you can kind of keep around to help inspire storytelling skills in kids or even in yourself. Some of these things I use too, so it's a, it's a good way to inspire some creative writing, build some storytelling skills, you know, and when those kids say, oh, I'm bored, it gives you a few challenges to give them that might lead into some sort of really cool story. So in the last episode, we talked a little bit about uh, a puzzle that inspired uh, building characters. Uh, so today I want to talk a little bit about um, building setting or where the stories might take place. And this is a kind of a fun thing because it deals with postcards. So postcards are a great thing. You see, this was a postcard that was sent, oh, a long time ago, 1986, this postcard was sent. Uh, so I've been collecting postcards most of my life. I think it was a great way to travel around the world without actually going anywhere because I never really got to go too far. Um, but you can still pick up postcards today. Uh, there's postcards you can pick up sometimes in thrift stores, uh, you know, that people are getting rid of their collections. Um, if you know people, uh, you know, on social media that live in different countries, you can have them send you some, just so you can keep some in your creative writing toolbox or in, um, you know, handy, so that when you're thinking of ideas of where the stories takes place, you have some places that you can look at. So, you know, a lot of postcards will, you know, kind of give you the city views uh, or, you know, um, a closer look at you know what's going on in the city uh, it could give you some historic ideas there's a castle there in Lithuania uh, it could uh, give you some uh, ideas of here's a market so it can give you some ideas of um, you know where specifically the story could take place you know maybe your story is taking place at a market look at the picture even you know what kind of inspirations does it uh, does it create there's a bunch of birds there there's some flowers there's some food you know is there a story there somewhere um, sometimes it's uh, they could be historic or um, situational so here's a volcano in Hawaii uh, so it talk, you know the lava is spreading and things like that so there's a story in that as well so to get a place that you can um, you know write about put your story in that setting postcards are great for that because you can kind of look through them sometimes if they've got writing on them at the back uh, it might give you some clues or ideas of what was happening when that person wrote the postcard so even that could inspire part of the story but you know they'll say oh you know we're having a great time we did this and we did that so I mean that's a story prompt right then and there uh, so collect some postcards you know check with your relatives who's got some postcards that they've saved who lives somewhere that they could send you some postcards and start building um, a, a postcard folder of places because these can inspire where your story takes place there's also some fun things that maybe it'll inspire some character so this one is an old painting um, but it's very kind of cool because it looks like a great character that you could use in a story uh, some of these came from postcrossing.com and that's sort of a a group that just sends postcards around the world to each other so this one um, you know came through that and um, sometimes they come in different languages and you can't understand what they say but that's the fun of it uh, is kind of like to me they're treasures because you know hey that's a great character I might be able to use um, some of them will have animals of that place so that will help you build your setting because you can maybe include some animals that actually um, exist in that place so that you can make your stories a little more accurate this one talks about the legend of the sand dollar so that in itself could inspire a story maybe there's some folk tale or you know some uh, something that you could write about or include in your story remember you can't use the actual stories but you could be inspired by it and this one's kind of one of my favorites it's like you know just a fun little one but take a look at that there's these fingers with thimble hats and faces on it and those would be great great story ideas right there um, you know some whole new characters for a book so postcards are a great thing to keep in your bundle um, in your creative writing toolbox because they can inspire geography they can inspire history they can inspire characters uh, stories uh, there's some folk tales you know and maybe some events um, so not only the pictures on the postcards but possibly the stories behind it if you've received some of my postcards date back to before I was born and so what people were doing back then could actually inspire a story as well. So 
there's another thing to add into your uh, toolbox and um, it doesn't cost a lot. Uh, you may not even have to go too far. You know, just look in your, in your photos or in your drawers to see if there's any postcards or ask your friends. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me for this episode of the Creative Writing Toolbox and uh, we'll uh, be back again to add something else to your great writing storytelling toolbox.